everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm kind of doing a video that I didn't really have planned for quite a long time but I really wanted to make it because a lot of people would have been kind of disappointed in me if I didn't film this so I'm sorry about the lighting and the way I look today I just like I didn't feel like putting any type of makeup on. I just put a little bit of mascara and some lip gloss on. So I'm sorry about the way that I look. I literally just have my hair up in a bun and I'm just rocking out in a tank top today. But I really wanted to film this because a lot of people would have really liked to see this. And also I'm kind of at my wits end. So as you can probably tell by the title, it is going to be all about me changing my septum and yes I know my septum is still very 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 fresh I've had it for about five six weeks now I'm not really sure I didn't really count before I did this but it's been around that time and no it's not exactly healed yet and um, I know a lot of people are gonna say yeah you should always practice what you preach blah blah, blah and definitely don't ever change your piercings until they're healed but like I just can't even tell you guys like how fed up I am I just can't do it anymore so originally I was just going to um, take it out and get it redone soon but I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet but until I make a decision on what I want to do with my septum piercing I need something in there that I can handle and as you know my septum ring is quite large for my face I mean it's something that probably anyone who watches my videos that's probably what you're focusing on is how big it is and I don't want that to be the case so I'm just gonna change it and to something smaller so I can you know you know can like what, what am I trying to say like I want to change it so I can touch my face without freaking out you know what I mean like I don't want to like catch it on everything so I am going to be changing it and I did talk to another piercer and he said that it was pierced in a very low spot so even like a circular barbell like this the smallest size which is like one fourth that would even still be too big because of how low it's pierced so I would need to like specially order something or something like that so what he said I could do is I could put like a curved barbell in so I was like hmm that's interesting and until I make a decision on whether or not I want to take it out or anything I'm just gonna put in a circular barbell so literally I'm just going to or not circular curved barbell so for that I'm going to be using one of my eyebrow rings because I have a set of three of these well today I'm actually gonna be changing it to one of these these little curved barbells this is a 16 gauge curved barbell this is six millimeters long so it is quite short as you can see because my eyebrow piercing needed one that short because I wanted it just to show the two balls at the top and the bottom. And I had an extra one and he said I could totally do that. So that's actually what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I have my H2 Ocean here to kind of help lube up the piercing. I clean my piercing, I clean the jewelry, I clean my hands. So I'm pretty much ready to go and I'm just going to go ahead and change it on camera. So you guys can see, sorry about the scratch mark, me and my dog were playing, so don't think I'm getting beat up or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and change it. Um, for those of you who are going to share any negative comments with me, you will be blocked and banned from my channel. I am not putting up with any negative negativity or hate on my channel any longer. So don't even bother leaving any negative comments like that because it's just going to get your ass blocked. So just don't do it. Um, I'm doing it to help me out. I got an okay from a piercer, so just leave me alone about it. Yes, I know my septum is pierced very, very low. I might get it redone. Not too sure. We'll just see and you guys will also see as well. So just patience and we will figure something out so yes let's go ahead and get started so I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit again I'm sorry about the condition of my skin I'm just like I just can't be bothered today and you all you all see me without makeup before anyway so it really shouldn't be a big deal but um, as you can see I just have this little um, circular barbell in and this ball always keeps coming loose so I'm just gonna take it out uh, that way so I'm un screwing it so there it is with one ball off I'm just gonna put that off to the side so there it is and I'm just gonna pull it through so I have taken it out and there is the holes probably gonna start bleeding a little because it is um, for those of you who are curious it is externally threaded jewelry and that is like a big no-no for healing piercings but I just I can't do the big uh, rings anymore okay so now that I've taken that out I'm gonna take my little thing here and my H2 Ocean and I'm just gonna spray 
So now that I kind of got it a little bit wet, I'm just going to take the ball off this one. Hopefully, you can see it okay. Okay, so I got it all the way in. As you can see, no, it did not hurt at all. It actually went through pretty easily. Um, the only thing that really kind of hurt just now is I did have a keloid on this about four days ago on this side. So I did kind of catch a little bit, but um, no, it doesn't hurt at all to change it. So then the hardest part and my all-time least favorite part is putting the little ball back on. So hopefully I can do this with no issues, which I'm already having issues. Cool. I got it. I'm just making sure that the balls are nice and tight on the piercing. Oh, and there we go. So I got it in. That's what it looks like right now. Again, it is a 16 gauge circular, or not circular, why do I keep saying that? The 16 gauge curved barbell. It's the exact same one I'm wearing in my eyebrow. Um, again, I got an okay from the piercer to do so. Um, he, Cause he did say that the, the, um, the jewelry that I did have is quite big, but he said if I wanted to keep it that low, he said I could, and I could just use the curved barbell. And I'm actually really glad that I changed it because it is a lot smaller, very, very small. As you can see, it's kind of actually the style that I wanted, which is just having the ball show. So I do really like it, actually. Um, I actually don't mind it being pierced this low now. So yeah, I actually like it. So that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and... So there it is, changed it way too early, way before it was ready, but it actually didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you look at me now. It looks much more flattering than this big honking thing that I had in, and yeah, so I went from being this to this. So this is what my stuff is going to look like from now on. I'm actually really like happy with it. I think I'm going to keep it like this, so I don't know. I don't think I have to get it redone, and I'm wondering, like let's do the little test. Can I flip it? And I can flip it up. Look at that. Oh, no. It slipped back down. Okay, never mind. I'll have to work with it. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like now. So I just, I feel so much better. Like I can relax and I don't have to worry about this big bar hanging from my nose. So yeah, it looks really nice. I really like it. Tell me what you guys think. I'm really, really happy with it. It feels a ton better. Like I can move my nose. Oh my gosh, this feels good. Oh. Oh my gosh, I haven't been able to rub my nose like that since I got it pierced, so oh, I'm so glad I did it. Oh, I just want to give that piercer a great big hug when I see him because I feel so much better. And I don't think I need to get it redone because I actually kind of like this look. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Again, keep your negative comments to yourself because I don't really care to hear them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry again for the randomness of this and the way I look and things like that. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.